Another day, another scam attempt on eBay. Today, we're going to tell you how to avoid easily this sort of scam here. Hey, Don here. Today, we're going to talk about another scamming attempt that we just had to deal with here. Now, I had a potential buyer send in a request asking if I would take a set amount, tax, shipping, and the whole works included. Now, I told them that I would not be able to add the tax in there because of how eBay does it with managed payments. That's how it works. I can't just give away the tax like that. I need it processed through eBay so that I can account for it in my taxes and show where the tax money was or wasn't collected. So it has to go through a specific means. I can't void the tax. I would have to have calculated and messed around. It's just not worth all the hassle. So I gave them the offer. They countered and said, okay, a few days later. Now they paid for it. As soon as they paid for it, they sent a message request stating it to send to it a totally different address than what they just paid for it by. So I sent them a response, just like eBay tells everybody, if somebody needs the address changed, you need to cancel the order and relist it and have them repurchase it and then use the correct address. Well, I sent them that response. Their response again was, well, no, you just need to send it to this address instead. It's still us. And just go ahead and send it. No big deal. So again, I reiterated one more time again, hey, I can't do that. It has to be canceled in the whole works. So then I get another response stating, no, no, they don't need to do that. You just need to send it to here and on and on with that aspect of it. Now, I'm not going to have any of that. I'm not going to take a risk on any of those factors. So at this point, since my deadline was running out for the time I have to ship the package, I canceled it and used problem with the buyer's address. Now, if you use problem with the buyer's address, and indeed they're asking you to send it anywhere else other than the address listed in the payment notice, you can't get in trouble for that. You're not supposed to send a package to a different address. Now, you may think, oh, that's no big deal if it gets there or anything else like that. eBay will still do it because I can prove that they asked for it to go to somewhere else. Now, you're missing the biggest point here if you think that's the only thing to worry about. Now, the biggest factor you really have to worry about in issues like this is a potential chargeback. Now, let's say it arrives, eBay you know, can't do anything. They don't file a case through eBay at all. Instead, they just want to go through their payment facilitator. Say their charge card they use to register on eBay, and that's how it's paid through the managed payment system. They're using a charge card, a bank account, whatever the case may be. Now, you didn't ship that item to their stated address on that charge card. So the tracking number won't match where it should have went by what that company is stating. They're not going to be able to see, in some cases, what eBay has in the email messages themselves. So I would never send anything to an address different than what is on the payment one. With managed payments, when somebody challenges it with eBay, it is their bank account, their charge card, not eBay, that decides on who is right and who is wrong. So if the charge card company sees that it went to somewhere else and that their person who owns that charge card claims, well, that's not me, they could get off, keep the item, get the money back through managed payments through a charge back with their bank. So that is a key factor you got to realize whenever this happens. Now, obviously, there could have been some misconception on what I said, but I spoke it very clearly and their responses were in completely proper English. They seem to understand everything else other than the fact of what I was saying. I specifically said I cannot send it to any other address three different times, and they still proceeded to try to get me to send it to somewhere else. Now, I obviously blocked them at the very same time I canceled this. So the very next day, what happens? They started a new account and purchased it anyway. Now, if you're unaware, if somebody tries to bypass you blocking them by creating a new account and then repurchasing it, that is strictly against the rules. If you contact eBay, they will tell you that immediately. I actually called them and had them deal with this directly right then and there on the phone. I have Anchor Store support. So with Anchor Store support, I've been able to call them through the entire pandemic minus a week or so. So I always call on issues that I just want taken care of and I don't want to have to deal with them anymore. This person was trying to void out, trying to bypass eBay's regulatory system built into the user agreement. So at that point, both of their accounts are in jeopardy and were reported. The lady instantly knew what I was talking about. I gave her all the information. It was a quick and easy process that should be 
be handled immediately. Now eBay also told me to go ahead and cancel that second one from the new account they just made as problem with the buyer's address as well. That problem with the buyer's address does again save you from issues like that. If you cancel an item for any other reason other than something along that line, they can still leave you feedback. That is the key. They can leave you feedback. Now, I did talk to someone, as I said, so I did ask and, and question a lot of these processes and stuff like that, too. Now, I could be still charged 30 cents per purchase from this person because there is a managed payments processing fee that's always there from what eBay said to me on the phone as well. I should be able to get that removed to pretty much negate this to a zero loss on my behalf. Now, even if I thought at the beginning that maybe there was some misconception on what the person was understanding, the fact that they knew they were blocked and still went ahead and opened up a new account with a different first name, same everything else, tells me that this was pretty shady to begin with. You will run into things like that. The item price wasn't very much. I would rather not take a chance in cases like that. But anytime, anytime you block somebody and they open up a new account and purchase it from you, you will be in the right. So all you need to do is contact eBay in these situations. They will obviously address those very specifically. eBay does take those types of things very serious. In that other case, not only did they open up a new account, but they asked somebody who lived very close to them to purchase it when I got them dinged and those accounts closed down and blocked as well. Now that person obviously got in trouble also because it was very clear and obvious based on the offer price that that other person put in that it was all tied to the same person. I actually looked up the actual Google Maps on that and I could clearly see that they were just a few blocks from each other and eBay saw that as well. So eBay did again stick with me. I canceled all three of those issues and the whole works and eBay did side. I did not get any negative feedback from that. So if you do everything right, you follow the rules, you offer, say, the 30-day returns, which is one of the ways you can get covered from many of these issues, you are covered. Now, I had a video as well talking about another scammer over a record. Now, if you check my feedback, I did not get dinged for that. I did not even refund that person all of their money, and eBay still sided with me because in that case, I did everything step by step. I have the correct policies in place as well as I had documentations and photo proof that the item return was clearly not the same item that I sent them. So eBay does honestly back you up in many situations. As long as you know how the rules work, what the rules are to begin with, you can negate many of these where they won't ding your account. Those are big key factors you have to worry about. When someone asks you to change the address, never, ever, ever do it. You are opening yourself up for a case either through eBay or through managed payments or through a chargeback through their bank itself. And as I said earlier, you have no recourse because it's out of eBay's hands in these cases. It is up to the payer's bank account or charge card in most cases to decide on who's right and who's wrong. And if you're sending it to the wrong address, they don't live there. They can claim, I don't know who that is, regardless of whether they gave it to you or not. So you got to be very leery on any of these types of scams. They are, though, fairly easy to combat if you know the rules, if you know what you're allowed to do and what eBay states they are required to do. A big one for me is that 30-day return that you have to offer for them to take action and step in and make sure that you can't get bad feedback for certain types of transactions. Far too many people don't understand that that is built into there. It's a simple two or three word aspect in one sentence in the user agreement that states that exact fact. I actually even have a video up here showing the entire breakdown and how all of that returns, the processes, the cancellations works as well. So if you want to play it safe, don't do any risky sales at all on eBay. It's just not worth the potential for you to get ripped off from one of these scammers. And they are all over the place right now. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
Beechnut has a new gum, Beechnut Fancy Fruit. Fancy that. Beechnut has a new gum, Beechnut Fancy Fruit. Fancy that. Beechnut has a new gum, Beechnut Fancy Fruit. Fancy that. Fancy Fruit hangs on to flavor. What flavor? Fancy flavor. Fancy what? Fancy Fruit by Beechnut. What? Not? By, by Beechnut. Beech by gum.